So today I'm going to show you how I edit this cool After Effects car transition on Node video app. First I start by adding a shape mask and masking out the car tire. Then I click invert to reveal the mask. Next I add a keyframe to the inner cut to create the cutout animation. So next I'll create the zoom in effect, but since zooming the footage affects the mask as well, I'll position the mask panel above the transformation panel to fix it. So now we can add the zoom effect without affecting the mask. To create the zoom effect, add keyframes to the scale option and increase the size of the footage. Then I apply a curve to make the transition look smoother. Next I head to the effect store and add the saber edge effect. First I change the distortion type to line. Then, I reduced the strength to zero. I decided to leave the rest of the settings unchanged, but made a few tweaks to the spread, distance, and thickness of the saber edge. Then I changed the blend mode type to blending. Feel free to choose your color type based on your preference. To fix the saber flash, I add a keyframe to the distance and thickness. Then I adjust their values to reduce the opacity of the saber edge. Next I drop in the second car footage as the background. Then I adjust the size of the background footage and then add a keyframe to the scale to match the transition. Finally, I add an adjustment layer and place the layer where the transition begins. Then I add the ray blur effect to create a more dynamic transition. I'm going to add keyframes to the start point, middle, and end point of the transition. First I reduce the ray blur amount to zero and then add keyframes to the start and end points. Then I tweak the ray blur amount at the middle. So I'm going to readjust the size of the background footage to blend with the new changes. And with all that done, here's a playback preview. So to reverse the transition, simply activate a keyframe, then copy and paste the keyframe in a reverse order. Follow this same process for all added keyframes.
I then duplicate the adjustment layer and place it at the end of the clip for the zoom out transition. So if you found this tutorial helpful, hit the like button, and we hope to see you next time. Peace.